Yow. <coughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, looks like we got the conga line out here uh, from Etni. Getting ready to go here fairly soon here. This is a coal mine. I like this map. Whoa, let me get in free free fly here. Uh, spawns back over this away. And uh, you got two approaches. Um, and the small health pack that's on the map spawns on the outside here. We do have bands thrown down for this map. And the bands were engineer... Excuse me, engineer and scout. So um, we're definitely going to see some sniper. Sniper is a very strong option on this map. Um, also, probably you know, plenty of uh, heavy. I'm sure of that. And uh, we'll see what uh, guns uh, the uh, teams uh, choose to use. Uh, I like this map. It's pretty fun. It's pretty straightforward. This point uh, works out. You know, you can climb back up, uh, and otherwise you drop down low. Uh, sides are cool here. Bottles cool to fight over. You have a pretty good uh, mid interaction, and uh, it's uh, pretty fun. Looks like uh, we did get both teams ready up here, so no scout and no engineer, and uh, we do have matching lineups from both teams. Um, the other ones on the board are Pyro and Engineer. Neither of them uh, chosen to be whipped out here. Melon Lord on the demo man instead of Dane. Dane sniping. Quick fix on both sides. Uh, heavy coming out here. Jumping around the corner. Does get Melon Lord. Nice close range action there. Bujin's out. Ooh, big snipe by Pete the Plumber. Gonna have to watch out for him. And he doing work. Uh, a devastating fight. Oh my god, on the ground here as Bujin's gets sarcasm. Should just pop that crits or that quick fix. Oh, the capture out here. Oh, jump across from the demo man. Dane out here, 125. The capture does go under effect, though. There goes Dane. And uh, there goes the first round as well for the Portland Burnsiders. Teams have been switching on the same, uh, sticking to the same team's uh, sides, the same colors. So that's nice and consistent for us. Now, both teams still on. Uh, actually, no, Crit Screen from Boo Jeans here. See how that works out. Sage gets uh, damaged quite a bit early. Let's we'll see if they can try to rotate left here. Uh, find the bottle. They do find the black box of Etni. Nobody grabbing that bottle right now, which is kind of surprising. Medic on the point here. MK climbing. Oh my god. Wow. The uh, mark for death coming out and clearing out Etni. There we go. Capture coming across from uh, MK. Both teams getting spawns up, but Etna did go down in the uh, resulting fight. Pete the Plumber definitely could just uh, uncork a, a snipe here, no problem. Um, let's fill up uh, the uh, Arena Respawn pubs after this uh, server. I'll give you guys the uh, address. I'd definitely be down to jump in one uh, for a while, and uh, maybe after break, jump in some more. Pete the Plumber, big snipe here. And uh, Red Sea might be able to work this map around. Oh my god! Gets Sage as well. And uh, they're going to get respawns. And uh, it's just going to come down to MK. Ouch. Burnsiders pulling that round back. Well done. Uh, four flips on that one. Looks like the Burnsiders getting a couple revives there. Now, uh, Soldier out here still. Uh, still no team whipping out the uh, Pyro. I think Spy obviously would have some potential here. Sarcasm coming across with this black box. Getting a little bit of health back. Good damage on Boo Jeans already. And doing so much work there. Can't get the final killing Splash Rocket there. Certainly would have been nice. Heavy coming in though. Deadly Deadite does go down. Just got MK though down. So both heavies down. Sage on Quick Fix while Red Team has the... Uh, oh, Sarcasm jumping through the windows. Nice play there, though. Gets called out. Oh, does not get air shot. Does go down to Etne, though. Red Team has a bit of an advantage here. Oh, God. The uh, recapture going. Will the crits come out here? No, not yet, though. Bougies gets dropped down low. Wow. Has it now with Etne. Oh, we've got to use it. There we go. Gets it out there. Get, takes care of MK. You get the bottle there. Oh, my God. Three kills. And Blue holding the points, that means he can't recap it. Oh my god! There we go. Pete the Plumber with a snipe there. But Etne doing some stomping with that black box crit creep. And uh, that was a big comeback for the uh, team representing Portland here tonight.
Now, uh, it's just going to be whipping the heavy up here. It's got the uh, medic as well. Melon Lord back on her man. And uh, uh, Dane on the demo man. I think that's going to pay some dividends here. they got to watch out for Dane here. Dane's going to bring some nastiness. Beat the plumber taken out by Dane. No problem. Dane in the traditional medic demo combo is a force to be reckoned with. Blue. Oh, he takes out Etni as well. They take the point. It's just Cappy left here. Sarcasm. Going to get the kill there. And, uh, well, Seattle pulls a round back. And uh, I think they're on the round to uh, pulling a few more back. Uh, stagnant. I do not know who of these uh, actually are Portlanders tonight. I'm actually going to need Gizno's help uh, figuring that out. Uh, as I know, we basically kind of almost have a lot of stand-ins there with Cappy. Cappy's like an honorary Burnsider, um, but uh, definitely lives in Houston, representing for the Houston Sams in the uh, Pro Battle League. Oh, God. Cappy trying to bounce pipes around the corner, but uh, gets sticky down by Dane. And uh, Deadly Deadite, you know, trying to get uh, arrow healed up through that medic fight but that's not gonna work they're gonna cap capture here no problem have to deal with this uh, sniper oh sage drops it was a quick fix uber i mean but still uh that uber would have helped you out red getting some nice picks and then they're gonna be able to get the spawn here blue at the disadvantage especially losing mk on the snipes and pete the plumber still jumping around but dane doing some work can he wrap around here oh my god wow cappy gets it sarcasm on the point though who's here to challenge him nobody he gets the capture. Cappy, cool. Or sorry, no, Edney going to come in. And capture's going to get flipped around again. Look at all those captures we have in this round. Flips all over the place. And it's just sarcasm down for blue team. And uh, they're actually going to get him back up. And they get a snipe on the heavy weapons guy. Cappy under duress here. He's down to less than half health backing up. Some more heals here. Pete the Plumber with the big snipe on Sarcasm. Both teams down one player. Tense standoff here. Blue in control of the point. 25 seconds. So they can just double cap here. Quick fix Uber coming out. Cappy trying to dish out enough damage. It's not going to be enough though. Red team is going to recap here. Oh possibly. No they haven't finished it off yet. Pete the Plumber goes down. They're going to need to recapture here. 10 seconds on the cap. And Dane and MK controlling the point here. Here comes the crits. MK taken out. There's the recap. Dane with a huge pipe. He falls down, though. He's going to need to get back up there. No. What a flip floppy round. Man, that one was crazy. Bunch of captures. Bunch of back and forth. Now, let's see how this goes out this time. 4-1. Four, four, Deadly Dead Eye getting whipped out. It's a quick fix for Blue Team versus Kritzkrieg. Quick fix spotted early. Meta getting bombed. Oh, my. It barely survives. He can, oh, no. There we go. Taken down. If he can survive for another 10%, uh, could just use it. Etni gunned down. Red Team's just got two. And one of them is their medic. The other is the sniper. Pete the plumber, though, has been pretty nasty all game. Not sure if he's going to do it there, though. Does get it with the SMG. 360 jumping around. Blue jeans. Oh, my God. On the capture. No. Can't get it done in time. Pete the plumber. No. Going to get gunned down as well. So, Seattle pulls one back. This is the final map to Ciders. We've been tied. And uh, two to four here. Whip is out once again. Still surprised to see no pyro. Uh, even spy as well, you know, with the sniper on the field. Oh man, snipes coming out right away as both play both teams getting somebody. Sage getting sniped down for blue team. Might see the early capture to get their medic back. Also have to be careful though that red just doesn't spawn camp. You have to protect the medic if the medic does come back here. Deadly Deadeye getting healed. Does take down MK. Sarcasm. Dane the last one standing here. He's not going to be able to get a retake either. So he's just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way and just control the point and get the capture here. Might actually let somebody capture it just so he can retake it. Oh my god, big pipe. It's him versus Edney. The jump in. Edney on point. Dane falls down. Oh no! Crater is down to his death. Oh man. What an embarrassing way to go for Dan. Uh, terror for Seattle there. 
That's, that's embarrassing. I mean, it's almost like it's almost like losing your best wide receiver and your quarter quarterback wife at the same time. It's just just devastating. Oh man. I hope Gizmo is watching the stream and caught that one. It's a deep burn right there. Now uh Blue Jeans with the uh, crit screen coming out here. Quick fix should be out here uh soon. Sage uh, kicking it around, getting his uh, heavy uh, locked up here. And uh, Seattle team does pull around back, so. <laughs> Seattle does pull around back, so they're still in this. You know, they're about a touchdown away from it. Uh, maybe, a, maybe a field goal, too. You know, I don't know. It is a, a two-round game right now. Ten minutes, though, so still plenty to play for here. And uh, they're going to go low here on the point. Maybe push through. Three. Interesting uh, uh, strat here. We'll see if that gets picked up. Etni, no, doesn't see him. Jumps across. Melon Lord coming out here, though. Needs some help on that heavy. Does back, buck, uh, back uh, up. Oh, Melon does get uh, Cappy Cool on Demo Man. Will need some heals and does get some heals. It's Pete the Plumber and Boo Jeans. Boo Jeans building that quick fix. They need to get out there, though. They just need to make a play. I think they do realize they're across there. But, oh, there's the heavy as well. Blue Jeans is going to pop the Uber. You have no choice but to just run out there. Try to do what you can. And uh, gets taken out. So 4-5 now for uh, Seattle team. The uh, Portland team in the red have gone to quick fix. So trying to match that meta. And uh, we do see Melon off on the pyro. So we have seen some off-classing here. Engineer and Scout Band. I say off-classing, though, because uh, the the class loadout of Red Team is seems to be what the teams have both settled on. Melon Lord, though. Pyro is her main, though, so whipping that out. Dane doing great damage, though, on Captain Cool and the Red Team. Bujin's taking pipes as well. Dane might just... Oh, I thought he might ride that sticky across. MK gets respawn here. Red Demo is... Uh, Red Heavy is out here. Not killed yet by Dane, surprisingly. Pete the Plumber... See if no can't get inside the point. And Seattle picks up another round. Tied 5-5. Five, five. <clears throat> and uh, Pro Battle League calling out for a fourth quarter comeback. I think we might have a little bias on whoever's running that uh, uh, running that uh, chat over there. But that's all right. Got a little bias in the commentary here tonight. Because I'd love to see the Burnsiders win. Even if uh, not our regular crew and we got a lot of ringers in there. Dane doing a wraparound. Oh my god, they're just going to pincer this demo man. Etni getting caught out. And that's a class switch. It's Captain Cool on the pyro now. Deadly Deadite, Pete the Plumper, uh, Plumber, and uh, Boo Jeans still on their classes. Sarcasm, wow, staying alive with that black box. Finally gunned down with the SMG. Boo Jeans out here uh, hitting uh, Pete the Plumber up with some heals. They need to get on this point though and capture it. Nobody has yet. They see the heavy across... Oh, God, he's on there, though, but it's just going to get easier for him to capture it to do something. Uh, arrows coming out from Blue Jeans as well, and it, it's kind of fighting the inevitable when you just have a medic and a sniper left. I mean, you just kind of have to either just kind of crazy onto the point, or uh, I guess that's about it. Wow, Blue Jeans getting uh, air blasted up. Seattle takes another round. Burnsiders now switch over to Uber Charge. The question is, can they slow play this and get that charge in time? But definitely the benefit of the quick fix is you can keep that medic up and alive and uh, going throughout the fight. Sage uh, also gets forward pretty uh, quickly with this uh, quick fix, riding the rocket jump. Oh, and then gets sniped out from Pete the Plumber. That's a big pick. Definitely going to help the Burnsiders out here. Seven minutes down, the Burnsiders are down a round. Etni jumping around, trying to chase down this soldier. And, uh, well, Red Medic, Boo Jeans, might just tick down, burn to death. Melon Lord on the point. We get marked for death. It is just Pete the Plumber, but Blue has the point captured. If Pete gets some uh, big snipes here, could make it happen. Oh, my God, the body shot follow-up on Dan. That's all he needed. A good shot on MK as MK was marked for death with the Gru pulled out. Pete the Plumber has to find the pyro here. Headshot could drop him. Oh, misses the shot on MK. MK now going to get buffed up. 375 with that quick fix. Pete the Plumber has to find an angle here. Six seconds if uh, Blue Team wants to get the, the respawn. P 
Pete the Plumber going to line it up. Oh, no. Whiffs it. Has to get out here. Has to do something. No. Is going to go down. It's a two-round lead for the Seattle team now. Uh, Major, or, yeah, Mater, I am Kaufman. Uh, this is, I thought the format was 4v4. It did change, because uh, with the 5v5 format, we were able to accommodate class bands a little bit easier. And, uh, well, let's just have a, a good number of players and a good number of utility classes. Uh, I think it works out well, for sure. Any working around is at half health, not really where you want to be. It's taken out easily by Dane. Dane doing work. Wow, Seattle team turning it up right now. And getting work done as Pete the Plumber forced to just kind of try to snipe these five team battles. And, well, it's going to be pretty rough. Nice SMG kill on Melon. Wow, and gets sarcasm. Still plenty of players to go, though. Let's watch if Pete the Plumber can accomplish this. Get the comeback of the century here in Arena Respawn. It's a shot to start it off here. Loses the heavy weapon, Sky. Where'd he go? Oh, and then jumped. <laughs> a dummy definitely takes uh, definitely 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 takes plenty of credit as uh, Seattle is starting to run away with it a little bit Burnsiders need to bring this back though <clears throat> as uh, you know a three round difference could kind of chip away at that could make that happen but if any more rounds with the way that the clock is going could just lose this game Dane getting that damage out there Captain Cool on Soldier now. Pete the Plumber going down here. Reminder, once again, Engineer Scout banned in this matchup. Dane getting a plenty of kills. Cappy Cool gets one kill on Sarcasm, but he gets taken down. Yow, what's up, Hooky? Yeah, this is basically Team Deathmatch with a CP. When you capture that CP, you get a Team Respawn. Plus the class bans always keeping things fresh. Engineer Scout banned for this matchup. Open whitelist class limit one. 5v5 matches up with the Counter Strike Go and Dota sizes, so that's definitely a benefit. Seeing a lot of classes, a lot of players switching around, teams different trying different things out. And oh my god, MK does go down. The uh, red team does need to make this happen here. Sarcasm jumping across the point, does get the kill on the uh, heavy weapons guy. Sage gonna get on the point. Quick fix kind of screws up the uh, capture, but Sage does get the capture done. They're gonna quick fix Uber. Just to make sure that things are, are groovy. And he needs to get on point. Could get this capture off. I think he will. Oh no! Gets blocked by Sarcasm. That was a big round there. Each team bans a class each map. And the point of this format is to play fast maps. This uh, map time limit right now is set at 20 minutes. We're considering it lowering it to 15. But 20 seems to be a pretty awesome time for this map. It is like Team Dota 2, yes. Uh, that is a way to think of it. Keeps things fresh, you know, if you know that you're up against a team that's got a really hot sniper, you can ban a uh, sniper. Um, don't know if NG will always be banned. I mean, it's strong, but, you know, part of the thing with bans is the perception of whether something is, uh, you know, too strong and whether it's not really. It might not be worth banning uh, Engineer. You know, if they have a crazy Demo Man, you ban Demo Man and let him run the Engineer. Ooh, 11-5. We might actually see... Seattle getting the mercy win limit of seven here and forcing an early end to this map. Every weapon is allowed open whitelist. We don't want to ban any weapon. I don't think anything is banned. Mini sentries are, are powerful. You know, they have their place. They're, they're strong, but I don't think it's uh, necessarily game breaking. And exactly, if a class is always banned, then we're going to contact Valve. Valve will see that data. They'll see that people don't want to play against it. If people ban Pyro all the time because they don't want to deal with uh, Reflex, then, you know, that's that's how it works. Um, and and ba uh, Valve want that feedback, you know. They want to be involved in that way, and uh, that's uh, part of the reasoning behind this mode. So, uh, Blue going to get a recapture here, and uh, they're in a great position to, well, get the Mercy win limit. Let's see if they do. Yes, indeed. Looks like that's going to be a GG. The win limit comes into effect. Yep, rip. That does it for the Burnsiders, and well, uh, I think that does it for us. Let me see, though. Uh, um, if that is it for us, I'm going to pull in Gizmo here for an interview and uh, get him on the camera because uh, it was a it was a good evening of, uh, of matches. Yeah, saying scouts rip. 
And uh, I think we are done, so I think we are going to get Gizmo in here for a little uh, interview. Yes, indeed. Y'all, what's up, Gizmo? How you doing, buddy? Hey, guys. I'm doing great. That was some fantastic action tonight. Yeah. Sage saying, this was being casted? Yes, indeed it was, and uh, oh. it was it was pretty awesome. It was pretty good stuff, man. Just got Oops, muted. Excuse me. Maybe that was me. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty good stuff. Uh, pretty exciting. I like that uh, first map on well. That was crazy. Yeah, those trains were dominating everybody. That was, that <laughs> yeah. was the MVP of that map. Yeah, the the train 2K was pretty amazing. And, uh, well, then you also just had that uh, super exciting finish and that uh, golden cap. That yeah, cool that, that golden cap was pretty cool. I had not seen an overtime match in this game type yet. Mm. So that was cool to see. Uh, I thought Discovery was pretty fun as well. Um, we still had uh, Pyro in on Discovery, right? Yep. Um, and uh, the Banlander tonight worked out pretty well. I was very pleased with yeah. the way that everyone uh, took that to heart and really enjoyed uh, playing different classes than they normally do. Yeah, and, uh, you know, an open-minded to it, uh, open-mindedness to it, and uh, it definitely... Um, you know, open the game up and force players to kind of react. The second map uh, I, I mentioned, uh, you had Dane and uh, uh, Dane being banned from Demo and Sniper. Both maps kind of taken off the table and uh, that was what he was playing the, the round before. So interesting to see that, you know, getting called out there. Um, crits Reflex, Crits coming out, Open Whitelist coming out, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, and uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, what's next for, for PBL then. Well, uh, right now we're recruiting some teams in the Seattle and Portland areas to really start bolstering up uh, a bit of a player base so we can get some live matches going between the two and see if Portland and Seattle, uh, which one is actually the best. I know I'm rooting for Seattle, right? and you're probably rooting for that other city that's south of Seattle <laughs> a little ways, so... It'll be cool to see if we can get uh, a couple teams together and get together down at that uh, Burnsiders land that you guys put on every so often. Yeah, definitely. We're going to make uh, plans for that sometime. We'll have to talk that over with uh, Free Geek and see when we can get in there or possibly another different venue. Um, but uh, PBL will definitely be there supporting us. And uh, we have the event going on on Thursday I want to hype up as well. We've been doing this Arena Respawn on Mondays and Thursday nights at 7.30 and this Thursday night at 7.30. We are going to have uh, an invite pug with, uh, you know, 5v5 featuring 10 top players. We're going to do a player draft for the first round. I'm not sure if we're going to keep those teams or keep those captains, do redrafts. We're going to do Banlander like we did today and uh, should, be, uh, should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to see that. It's one thing to watch these guys play because these guys are awesome that we watched tonight. But it's another thing to watch these top 10 play because they are just a level above the rest. So it'll be interesting to see what they have to say about Arena Respawn. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was a lot of fun here tonight. Definitely interested in your guys' feedback on the Arena Respawn format. Go check out the Arena Respawn Steam community group if you want to hit that up and uh, drop some lines in there. Um, otherwise, uh, we're going to get some uh, pubbing going on in the Arena Respawn um, server, speaking of them and their Steam group. So if you're watching this on the VOD, check out that Steam group. Otherwise, join us live pasted the server info. I'm going to take a little break here and uh, be right back in a few minutes, and uh, we'll get some game going on on that server. Cheers, guys. Right. Stay tuned. Thanks, Eckstein. Uh -huh, of course. <laughs> 